Hey, everybody. Uh, happy 14th, 13th of April. Ooh, a little behind the scenes on when this is. The uh, Gundam Evolution playtest ended yesterday. Um, and I finally have an opportunity to sit down on my computer and kind of decompress about it. Uh, I figured a good way to talk about it would be to just do a tier list. They're not my favorite things in the world. And obviously this one will be super duper subjective. Um, but I just think it's a fun thing to like kind of get discussion going and, and so you guys can tell kind of how I thought about all the suits like as as the um, playtest progressed. Um, so yeah, I initially recorded this two days ago, or yesterday actually. Um, didn't like how it turned out. It's like a 30 minute video. So we're gonna try to be a little bit quicker on how, how much we talk about stuff. And now I know where I'm actually gonna put suits. So overall, this should go much smoother. Um, but yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. First up is Pale Rider. Um, Pale Rider's a very, very solid suit. This is a suit that I would I would argue putting into S tier even. Um, its gun is super good. You can ADS to get a little more accuracy. It's hit scan. It's got the ability to critical hit really easily. So DPS is super solid. It's got a healing pod. Um, that does an AOE heal for himself and his teammates. It's really, really strong. Um, it might actually heal a little too much in my opinion, but that's that's hard to say for sure. Um, it's also got two grenades, a classic explosive grenade that um, feels a little wimpy. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but if it was, I think his kit would be a little overtuned. And then an the EMP grenade that's like just okay. It's like pretty good for if you're running. Um, for like covering your escape or something. Uh, and then the G maneuver is is pretty okay as well. Just like a DPS increase, faster reloads, I think more damage. So yeah, Pale Rider is a very, very solid suit. I put it in the A tier, high A tier even. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, up next is, let's do Gun Tank. Gun Tank's an S tier in my opinion. Um, I think this could go a couple different ways. Um, but Gun Tank's main gun is like a lock-on bullet that can also that can attack like in an AOE, and then also if you ADS, you can focus on one target. Um, I think that's super solid. Just like having hit scan guns and let alone having them lock on is really strong. Uh, one of its spammable abilities is its bomb. It's kind of like a arcing explosive. It's really strong. Does a lot of damage. Sorry, there is hair all over my face. Um, does a lot of damage. Like it's just really solid overall. Um, its other ability is, uh, it's like dash tackle, so it can dash forward. Um, it can dash forward and then you can click again to do like a punch at the end of it. It's really good for mobility. You can use it offensively or defensively. Um, I think it just adds to this suit's mobility, which is really good. It's really its only weak point. And with that, it's a lot better. And then it also has auto, not auto revive, quick revive, like really, really fast revive. I think it's like a third of the time in the other revives, maybe half. Um, I think that's going to be a game changer as the meta starts to like um, evolve a little bit. I think that's a really good ability to have. So um, yeah, I think, I think gun tanks pretty high. I might be overvaluing its main weapon. It might be able to sit in like the lower tiers, no problem, but that's just where I'm thinking for it right now. Um, let's do a melee suit. Let's do Barbados. Barbados and Exia are again, they could go into SRA. I personally am going to put both, spoiler for Exia, I'm going to put both of the suits in A. Um, melee suits are really strong. Uh, they both have three thrusters, uh, which means they're really strong against suits that have one thruster. Uh, Barbados being able to charge its hammer and then thrust after somebody is huge, super duper good. Its normal swing is pretty slow, so you're not really going to be using it outside of its abilities unless you're using like the main swing to finish someone off or someone. Um, its jump that resets is great for verticality and really great in a fight. That's something we saw in the network test was um, lag was actually really noticeable on Barbados's when they would get multiple resets in a fight. They would become kind of floaty and bouncy. Um, and then it's got a, just another slam down move that um, just stuns people. So I think Barbados is really strong. Its only weakness is it can be kited or outranged. Um, but it has enough mobility that it kind of overcomes those weaknesses a lot of the time. Uh, so I think it could go S tier or A tier. I'm gonna leave it in A tier um, for a reason I'll talk about later. Xe is the same thing. It's got a charged melee that dashes and stuns, which is huge. It's got three thruster dashes plus a fourth one on its ability. Um, but the bonus to Xe is it's got the beam daggers, which is like a ranged option that do actually do a ton of damage, especially if you hit crits. Um, and then it's got a kind of knockback swing um, that I like to use as a finisher. 
Um, yeah, overall, Exe is a, a really strong suit as well. Lots of mobility. Um, I forgot to talk about Barbados' G Maneuver. Barbados' G Maneuver is three dashes with his Katana. It's pretty good. Um, it does a decent amount of damage. Um, hard to kill during it. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty strong. Exe is his Trans Am. I think it's a little weaker than Barbados's. It powers up your abilities. Um, I think it gives you two extra dash, or an extra dash, and, uh, changes your knockback into, like, a dash as well, like a cross-slice dash. Um, yeah, I think Exe's G Maneuver is a little tougher to use. Um, but yeah, I think both the melee suits are very, very strong. Um, but I'm gonna put them in A tier for now. And the reason I put them in A tier is because one of my favorite suits in the game ended up being the Turna Gundam. Uh, Turna Gundam's got a really solid spammable beam rifle, like low recoil, super duper good. Uh, you can charge it up to shoot for headshots. Um, the only problem with this beam rifle is a little low damage, so if you want bigger damage, you do have to charge it up. Uh, it's got a self-repair, which is pretty nice. Um, not the most influential ability in the world, but it is pretty good. Um, just a little bonus to this suit that I'm really liking a lot. And I think what makes Turna Gundam really shine, especially in the uh, network test, where there was a huge amount of melee suits running around, there were like Exia and Barbados in every single game, is going to be his um, overhead throw. Um, where you turn blue for a second, and then if you collide with some- you run forward, and if you collide with somebody, you flip them over your head and stun them. That's like a free kill if you hit people with that. It hard counters Exia. Exia can't dash into you. Turn a Gundam wins that fight. Um, and Barbados can use its aerial mobility, like its jump, to like end up behind you during that. So there is some outplay potential, but still really good if you see a Barbados trying to just thrust her straight at you. You hit that button and then you instantly win the fight. So I think Turna Gundam is really good. Um, its G maneuver is a nice AoE area damage slash denial. You throw it on a capture point, you just scoot around it for a while, and it does really good damage. Um, the only thing is that's pretty much all it has. It doesn't have much more going for it. Um, but it is just like a solid suit. It could use another ability maybe, but I don't hate it. Uh, I actually really, really like turning on them. So it's gonna be a suit I'm gonna be looking out for a lot in the full release. Uh, let's go to Zaku too. A tier for me. Um, I think it's really good. High mobility, three, three thrusters. Um, uh, really high or really low accuracy uh, machine gun that actually does quite a lot of damage. Um, super duper good. You can get around shields to flank. Um, it's got a grenade for a little bit of bonus extra damage to secure a kill. And it's got a smoke grenade to get away. Um, I think it's G maneuver, the heat hawk, which is like a dash that stuns, is a little, a little weak. Um, but the rest of its kit is really solid. Um, I think this is going to be a suit that can easily get overtuned. Um, in a similar way to how Tracer was in Overwatch. Um, so I think that's a suit we're gonna have to watch out for. I think people who are really good with Zaku 2 are gonna go on tears uh, during public matches, like without a doubt. Uh, GM Sniper, S tier, uh, easily S tier. It's a sniper character that doesn't have to char- Oh, my lighting changed real fast, hold on. Ugh. Okay, slightly better. Okay, apologies. Uh, GM Sniper is a sniper character that doesn't have to charge up their scope. This is something these squad-based shooters learned years ago. Like, Team Fortress 2 Sniper had a charge-up mechanic for forever. Uh, just because being able to quick scope is a super strong ability, and GM Sniper can. Um, and beyond that, like, being able to quick scope kind of gets rid of the one way that you beat snipers, which is you rush them down. Um, having the Vulcan pods on top of that is quite a lot. Not that those are the best in the world. Uh, then it's got a jump pad, which is okay. I mean, verticality is always nice to have. It's map dependent for sure, but definitely not a bad thing. And then it's got a ranged um, ally revive. Uh, also very, very good. Um, yeah, not much more to say about that. It's like a solid kit. GM Sniper is super strong, does a ton of damage, one, one shots a ton of suits. Um, keep an eye out for people who are really good at GM Sniper, because they're going to decimate lobbies. Um, I'll do my first B tier. Marasai, I am not super enthused about. Its beam rifle's nice, little slow on the fire rate. I think a fire rate buff would go leagues into helping Marasai. Uh, it's two abilities. It's got a kind of grapple to drag people in. Pretty good. A little weird for a suit that has, you know, a ranged 
beam rifle that's like about long range distances because it can aim. Um, but it couples with its secondary ability, which is a stab that knocks people back. So um, its its grapple ability is super hard to hit, super long wind up. Um, I know displacement abilities need to be uh, balanced pretty heavy handedly, so I can see why. Um, so Marasai just feels a little weak at the moment. Not a bad suit at all, but uh, it leaves a little something to be desired. And its G maneuver is pretty good. Pretty really good. It's an AoE stun for a really long time. Uh, it's G Maneuver is the best part of the kit for sure. Um, but yeah, not a terrible suit, just not my favorite. Uh, Ashimar will be next. Ashimar is also a B tier suit for me. Um, it's got quite a bit going for it. My favorite part of it is its main gun. It's a three round burst gun that's really accurate. Um, super duper good. It has a charged up beam rifle shot on a pretty long cooldown. Um, it's a little hard to aim. Like a lot of the beam rifles in this game, it has a uh, pretty slow projectile speed, doubly so when you're charging it, so it does become kind of difficult to hit. Um, its napalm grenade is pretty okay for area denial, and then its transform ability is nice too for just being able to zip around vertically, but I don't know. It just didn't really click for me. Um, I think it's a really good suit. I think its main gun is the best selling point, and I think uh, tuning its abilities would go a long way. Um, its G maneuver is punch, uh, similar to Zaku2's Heat Hawk. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good. But on a suit that has like a three round burst sort of long range, I guess it's like a mid range rifle. It feels a little weird to have to be in people's face to use your G maneuver, but definitely not bad. Um, I'm going to round out my last B tier with Grandpa Gundam. Uh, Grandpa Gundam's got a really nice beam rifle, one that you can aim as well. Uh, pretty, not as accurate as, like, um, Turna Gundam's beam rifle, but a lot more damage. Um, then it's got a couple of abilities. Its shield is the weird one. It's a shield that you can only, you can only walk and you can only dash in if you thruster or shoot or anything like that. Um, you lose it. It's a thousand health shield, which is the lowest shield of all of the shield characters, the GM and the Sazambi and the Gundam. Um, and you can't do anything during it. I think it's a little weak. I think it's really only good for covering escapes or like starting a push out by having the enemy soak a ton of damage into it. Maybe there's some really good technique for it. I just don't know what it is. Um, so yeah, I put him in the B tier. He's got a Gundam hammer, uh, which is really cool, long range, stun, pretty good against the melee suits. Uh, nothing to say about that. And then it's got a really good G maneuver ability. It's like a, a grenade that has like a lasting AOE effect. Uh, yeah, pretty solid overall besides the shield, um, which lands it squarely in the B tier. Uh, up next, I'll do Sazabi. Sazabi's S tier, Sazabi's really good. Um, Highest base health in the game, I believe, plus a shield that doubles. It's the same amount of health, so you're effectively doubling the Sazabi's HP from the front. You can shoot during it, which is huge. Uh, beyond that, Sazabi has... Oh yeah, its main gun's a shotgun, so you want to be in close. It actually does a shitload of damage. Like, it does a ton of damage. Um, which is why I think it's overtuned, which is its next two abilities. Uh, one is firing a beam or throwing a beam tomahawk. You can latch into people or walls. Uh, it also does damage, but then you can use your second ability, which is a uh, homing thrusters, either on an ally or on the beam tomahawk you just threw. If you hit people, it does damage and knocks back slightly, but it's a huge amount of mobility on a big suit with a shotgun, and it's on a pretty low cooldown, and I think that's where Sazabi gets a little overtuned. It's just slightly too mobile for how much damage a shotgun does, in my opinion. Um, it even has another ability, which is just like an enemy search through walls, which is really good on shotgun characters, right? Because you know exactly when to peek, fire, and shoot. Um, and then its G maneuver is... Wow, how did I forget its G maneuver? Oh, funnels. Funnels are really, really strong. It's just like an AoE do damage around you, and there's not really an indicator for how far out the funnels can go. Um, yeah, it's really strong. It's just like passive damage on everyone in an area. Um, I think Sazabi's a really, really strong. Maybe not stronger than Sniper. Turnic Gundam's probably the weakest in that in that crew. Um, Dom Trooper is S tier for me. Dom Trooper's really, really good. Uh, its main weapon, the rocket, is really strong. 
Uh, it's right click with the lasers, like a little added bonus if you like run out of shots or if you are on a real, you're trying to track a really mobile character or something. Um, then it has an ability for mines, which are just pretty okay. Um, the mines are just all right. They're pretty nice. They don't do a ton of damage, but they trigger and let you know when people walk by them, which I think is the really key point of that. Um, beyond that, Dom Trooper has... Oh, how am I forgetting about its other abilities? Well, we can talk about its G-Maneuver. Um, Dom Trooper's G-Maneuver is to... Uh... Oh, I remember its ability. John Dom Trooper's G-Maneuver is to like dash forward and behind you leave a trail that like boosts your allies movement speed and gives them bonus health really strong for taking points um it was kind of hard to use in the in the beta i think once people really start playing and playing as a team together it'll be a way strong g maneuver and then it's got its armor gun which is one of the it, like the strongest heal in the game as far as burst heals go it doesn't technically heal um, but it's like a huge amount of burst temporary health that fades over time. Uh, it fades slowly enough that you can, um, by the time it runs out, you'll have your ability up again. So if you're just like pocketing somebody, you could, they'll pretty much always have armor. Um, I think that's super strong. I think that needs to be almost tuned down in some way. Um, but yeah, Dom Trooper is a super duper solid suit. Uh, very, very good. Uh, I'm going to bust through these last two pretty quick. Uh, I have to go to the airport in a second. But GM is on A rank. GM's got a really solid kit. It's got a heal grenade that you throw on the ground. to uh, You pop it and you do an AoE heal. It's got a remote detonator that you throw in a granted pretty small arc. You can't throw it very far. Um, that you trigger again to detonate and explode. And it actually does like quite a lot of damage. I think that's a super strong ability. Uh, it's got a shield. Um... That you can put up with 1200 health i want to say more than gundam less than sazabi uh you can shoot your main weapon your beam pistol during it though which i think is is really good and then that's where it's a little weak because it's beam pistol is a little eh it's a little whatever um and then it has a shield bash which is also kind of whatever ability decent if you're getting attacked by melee suits assuming you didn't get stunned somehow um yeah, I think it fits solidly in the A tier, maybe B tier. It just has so much in its kit that I, I think it can sit in A tier pretty comfortably. Last is Methus. I think Methus is the best suit in the entire game. Uh, it's got a really, like, talk, talking about stacked kits, Methus is insane. It's got a double beam pistols, which is, like, pretty solid damage, but projectile speed is rough, making it hard to hit. It's got a charged up shot. Even slower projectile speed, but does a decent amount of damage. It's got a repair cable, making it one of the only, like, dedicated healers in the game. Besides, like, Pale Rider's heal pod, maybe. Um, so it's got a repair cable that's, like, a pretty slow heal, um, but just, like, heals your allies over time. It's got a transform ability to give it verticality up and down. And it's got a turret um, that you can just place down anywhere. And I think giving a turret ability on a suit that has a transform for verticality is a huge mistake. Um, maybe not a mistake, it just feels really strong. Yeah, Methus has a lot going for it. It's got a really strong kit, and then its G maneuver is just a buff to an ally on damage reduction and damage. Um, yeah, it's super... Methus is a really strong suit. I think people who get really good with Methus's guns are going to be absolute menaces. Um, I think the only thing that keeps it in check is its repair cable is pretty slow. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's a very, very strong suit. Uh, so yeah, that's where my opinions are at after the network test. Um, shout out to, I got this off Tier Maker. It was one that was already made. Uh, Indigo Blooper on Twitter made this, it looks like. Um, shout out to them. Uh, and then otherwise, yeah, those are my thoughts after the network test. Super subjective. These are just my opinions um, and how I thought about the suits after I think I got 12 hours of playtime or 10 hours maybe. Not a ton, but a decent amount. And I'm excited to see how this changes as either the full game comes out or more suits get added. So yeah, let me know what your opinions are if you agree or disagree in the comments. Um, as always, like, subscribe, and I love you.